Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is the 11th Sunday in Ordinary Time. The Healing Eucharist Incorporated and the SBD Secretariat for Social Communications in cooperation with ABS-CBN, Philippine Daily Inquirer, St. Peter Life Plan and Chapels, Seco Sana Ladies Bags, and Balikbayan Handicrafts celebrate with you this Holy Mass. In today's Eucharistic celebration, our Mass presider is Reverend Father Lino Nicasio SBD, Parish Priest and Shrine Rector of the National Shrine of St. Jude Sadeus. Please stand as we begin the Holy Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today is the 11th Sunday in Ordinary Time, but we also celebrate today Father's Day. So we greet and pray for all fathers. Palakpakan natin sila all over the world. We know that if we plant a seed in time, it will grow to be a big tree that bears abundant fruit and serves as a leafy home for birds. In today's gospel, Jesus tells us that this is how the reign of God works in our lives and in the world. Its beginning is rather small, but given time, it grows into something big. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us pause for a moment and ask the Lord's forgiveness for our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you healed the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on, and on earth, earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you. We adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. 
have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our prayers. And since without you, mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The first reading tells us that the prophet Ezekiel compares the restoration of the exiled Israelites to the growth of a tender shoot to a mighty cedar. This symbol will be used by Jesus to express the growth of the kingdom in our midst. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I too will take from the crest of the cedar, from its topmost branches, tear off a tender shoot, and plant it on a high and lofty mountain. On the mountain heights of Israel, I will plant it. It shall put forth branches and bear fruit and become a majestic cedar. Birds of every kind shall dwell beneath it, every winged thing in the shade of its boughs. And all the trees of the field shall know that I, the Lord, bring low the high tree, lift high the lowly tree, wither up the green tree, and make the withered tree bloom as I, the Lord, have spoken, so will I do. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, it is good to give thanks to you. Lord, it is good to give thanks to you. It is good to give thanks to the Lord to sing praise to your name, Most High, to proclaim your kindness at dawn and your faithfulness throughout the night. Lord, it is good to give thanks to you. The just one shall flourish like the palm tree, like a cedar of Lebanon shall he grow. They that are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. Lord, it is good to give thanks to you. They shall bear fruit even in old age. Vigorous and sturdy shall they be, declaring how just is the Lord, my rock in whom there is no wrong. Lord, it is good to give thanks to you. In the second reading, Paul encourages the Christians in Corinth to continue to be confident amid all sorts of troubles. He himself is full of confidence because he relies in Christ. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we are always courageous although we know that while we are at home in the body we are away from the lord for we walk by faith not by sight yet we are courageous and we would rather leave the body and go home to the lord therefore we aspire to please him whether we are home or away. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each may receive recompense according to what he did in the body, whether good 
or evil. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel. The seed is the word of God. Christ is the sower. All who come to him will live forever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, This is how it is with the kingdom of God. It is as if a man were to scatter seed on the land and would sleep and rise night and day, and through it all the seed would sprout and grow, he knows not how. Of its own accord, the land yields fruit, first the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. And when the grain is ripe, he wields the sickle at once, for the harvest has come. He said, To what shall we compare the kingdom of God, or what parable can we use for it? It is like a mustard seed that, when it is sown in the ground, it is the smallest of all the seeds of the earth. But once it is sown, it springs up and becomes the largest of plants and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them as they were able to understand it. Without parables, he did not speak to them, but to his own disciples, he explained everything in private. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang araw ng linggo sa inyong lahat. And uh, muli, binabati natin ang lahat ng mga fathers. Happy Father's Day! <laughs> Especially uh, yung mga tatay who are abroad, mga OFWs, kasi... Uh, they are far from their children, their loved ones. Yen ang mga tawagan blues. Uh, Papa, happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, pero luhaan naman. Because malayo. But then, uh, that's the joy of being a father. To have people loving you and you have people to love also. And first and foremost, we have to thank and praise our loving Father in Heaven. Palakpakan natin ang ating Diyos sa mga Now, what is the message of the Lord for us? We hear the words parables, parables, Jesus speaking parables. Ano ba itong parable? In short, it's a story. Jesus uses stories. Bakit? Well, people love stories. Diba? Uh, once upon a time, Uy, once upon a time, ano kaya yun? There was a princess. Ayun. Nung unang panahon, we all like to hear stories. Mga kwento ni Lola. Ayun. Maraming lumaki dyan. Mm -hmm. I remember as a child, uh, after... After supper, wala naman nung panang yun, di pa masyado ang TV. So we would gather in the sala, yung papa namin, sasabihin namin, apat kami magkakapit. Papa, magkwento ka naman, kwento ka naman, sabi niya. Nung unang panahon, so yung imagination namin, may isang princess, sasabihin, nandun ang imagination namin, parang napipicture namin. Bakit? 
because stories are very interesting. Okay, andyan na tayo. In the gospel, Jesus uses stories. Ang tawag dyan ay parables. Why? Because I told you already. Uh, mag, uh, mas madali ang pagpapaliwanag when you use examples. Di ba mga teacher? Uh, class, blah, 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 blah. Sila na kaganoon, kaganoon, Let me give you an example. Toing! Uh, ganyan din sa homily. Oo. Uh, pag ang, ang, ang pare ay uh, puro teaching, teaching, teaching. Sabi mo ito, ha, ha, ha. Pero pag sinabi ng pare, meron akong kwento. Toink! Ganyan. And Jesus, the divine teacher, knows the importance of parables. And that is why He uses them to attract the attention of people, to maintain the attention of people. Kaya lang, paalala lamang sa ating lahat, kung gagamit tayo ng mga istorya, it should be relevant. May connection, may connectivity sa pinag-uusapan. Now, in the gospel, Jesus uses the parable of the seed that grows. Yung farmer nagtatanim, and then by itself, it grows. He knows not why. Oo. Bigla na lang, uy, nandiyan na. Oo. Para bang tayo, our experience, ano ha? Uh, sometimes may lalapit sa akin. Oo. Father, hindi mo ako naalala. Mm-mm. Kaki, sino ka? Ay, ako ay yung bininyagan ninyo? <laughs> ha? Ang laki mo na! Ang laki mo na! Parang kailan lang. Iyon, parang kailan lang. Yung inyong mga apo, yung inyong mga pamangkin, lalo na pag hindi nyo masyadong nakikita agad, uh, bihira, oh, tito o oh, tita, ha? Sino ka? Yan ang inaanak mo. Ang laki na! Parang kailan lang. Oh, ito atin lang ha, si Sir Cruz. Huwag na makakarating sa iba ha. Atin lang ito. Ako lang yata sa buong mundo ang hindi nakakarinig ng mga salitang yan. Ang laki mo na. Lumaki ka na. Hindi pa ako nakaka... In, in, talagang ito ay himuto ko. Pero atin lang, huwag sasabihin sa iba ha. Oo, huwag sasabihin sa iba. Now, the reason I mention this is, Because the lesson of the parable of Jesus, yung mga, the seed that grows uh, without knowing it, is that is how God works. The farmer begins the process by planting, but it is God who gives the growth. Amen? Nasa Panginoon ang pagtubo, nasa Panginoon ang pagyabong, nasa Panginoon ang pagbibigay nang bunga. Oo. So, hindi sinasabi ng Panginoon, wala namang farmer na pagka pagkahasik niya eh andun siya. Babantayan ko ito. Babantayan ko ito. Hindi ako aalis dito. Hindi ako aalis. Ay sige ka. Ulanin ka diyan. Aramin ka diyan. Hayaan mo. It will grow by itself. That is the message of the Lord. Kaya like for instance, sa ating buhay espiritual. Aha. We start, let's say, reading the scriptures. Sabi mo, okay, sabi nila, maganda raw magbasa ng scripture. So, I will read one sentence a day. Oh, you read one sentence a day. And then after one week, uy, ang ganda pala. Ay, I will make it one paragraph. Marami ako natututunan. And then afterwards, you say, aba, hindi lang one paragraph. I will read one chapter na, marami ka pa. And then it grows. You see how it is. Oh, oh. And that is also what Jesus wants to tell us about the kingdom of God, the growth of the kingdom of God. God gives the growth uh, by the power of the Lord. Kanina tinanong ko, gano'n na katagal itong healing Eucharist? Aba, Father, sabi ni Sister Rose at saka Sister Janet at uh, Sister Christy, Ba, Father, matagal na tayo. Almost over 10 years na. O, tinan ninyo yan? O, hindi natin namamalayan. More than 10 years na palang healing Eucharist. And it has grown, not only here, but all over the world. Sa 
through the facilities of the Filipino Channel at sa YouTube at maraming nakikiisa sa atin and joining us. Palakpakan natin sila all over the world. Yun. So, huwag tayong mainipin. Huwag tayong mainipin. Magtanim ka ng mangga. O oh, sige nga, magbunga ka na. Gusto ko ng mangga. Aba, maghintay ka. Be patient. That is the way of the Lord. Di ba may kanta na ayoko nga naririnig yan eh kasi sa atin lang ito ha. Nakakasakit pakinggan eh. Yung kantang little by little every day. Eh pag ako'y kasama dyan, sa akin nakatingin lahat. Eh hindi naman maganda yun. Kaya ano, tinatanong, anong aawitin ninyo? Yung little by little. Ah sige, alis muna ako, babalik ako pagkatapos. Oh, of course, joke lang yun. But that is the way of the Lord. Little by little, every day. Oh, now you start praying the rosary. Oh, isang decade lang. Pero mamaya, then it grows on you, the whole rosary na. And then, you find out na pag may oras ka, sabi mo, ba maganda pala mag-rosary? It grows on you without you knowing it. And that is the way of the Lord. Huwag tayong mainipin. Huwag tayong impatient. Ang dami ka na, ang dami Ay, maha-high blood ka lang yan. So, let the Lord do His work in us. Amen? Mm. Maraming mga organizations, hindi lamang Healing Eucharist. Oo, nakaka-anniversary sila, nakaka-jubilee sila. And then, <clears throat> sasabihin nung, nung uh, president, o sa, My dear brothers and sisters, it was many, many years ago that we started this organization. We were only three. We were only three. And yet, now look at us. We have so many chapters. We have so many groups, not only here, but all over the world. It grows. And that is also the way of the Lord. So, what we need is to trust in the Lord always. Amen? Amen. Let us put our faith in Him. Lord, Hari Nawa, itong magandang sinimulang kung ito ha, ay magbunga. Lumago, yumabong, according to your will, and in your time. Di ba yung kanta? In His, God makes all things beautiful in His time. Again, let me give you an example. Marami mga parokya may ganito. Nag-start sila ng feeding program. Yung para sa mga mahihirap, para sa mga beggars, para sa mga uh, persons with disability, And then, sasabihin nila, alam mo, Father, dito sa aming parokya, nagsimula kami ng palugaw program. Wala, sampu, pito, sampu, pito. Pero, Father, after so many years, ayan, tingnan mo, oh. Punong-puno na yung hall namin ng mga uh, uh, availing of the lugaw feeding program. At hindi lang yan, Father, hindi lang kami nagpapakain. Nagbibigay muna kami ng Bible reading and Bible sharing and catechism. See how it grows by the grace of the Lord. So, ang baunin natin ay ganito. Lord, whatever I do, whatever good I do or start, whether alone or with others, kayo na po ang bahala. Bless it abundantly, Lord. Give it growth. Give me patience. Just let me do what I need to do by your grace. And let me trust you and leave everything in your care, in your love. Lord, I trust in you. Diba? Divine mercy. Jesus, I trust in you. And this is the way of the Lord. The way of humility. The way of faith. The way of trust. May the Lord give us growth, especially in our spiritual life. May the Lord give us strength and patience to continue the good things that we have begun and thereby give praise, thanksgiving, glory, and worship to the God, the loving Father, who gives us growth and blesses 
us all. To Him be praise, glory, thanksgiving, and worship now and forever. Amen. Malakas sa palakpak sa Panginoon. Together, let faith. us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. Let us pray to the Heavenly Father that His kingdom may grow abundantly here on earth, a kingdom of love, peace, and joy. Let our response be, Lord, listen to our prayer. Lord, listen to our prayer. That the church, the people of God, may be a leaven for the whole world through its proclamation of and witness to the love of God for all men and women. We pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. The church leaders and all those who work for the building of God's kingdom may not be discouraged by the seeming lack of success of their efforts, but continue to rely on God, who alone gives growth. We pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to, to our, our prayer. That political and civil leaders may desist from going after instant popularity and political windfalls, but pursue what is truly beneficial for the people. We pray. Lord, listen to our prayer that the Lord may provide those who labor in the land with food for body and spirit, make their work fruitful, and give them a rich harvest, we pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. For all missionaries who have left home, country, and family to proclaim the gospel to all nations, may the Lord protect them from all dangers, strengthen them in their loneliness, Give joy to their communities and fulfillment in their apostolate. May the Lord reward them in this life and in the life to come for their sacrifices and generosity for the kingdom. We pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. That those who suffer, especially the sick, the handicapped, and the elderly, may join their pains with the sufferings of Jesus through which we are redeemed. We pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we now pray for our personal intentions. That the church may grow stronger amidst trials and difficulties, we pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. And for all fathers all over the world, living or passed away, 
that the blessings and graces of the Lord be upon them always, we pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. Father, in your great love, you cause the seed to grow even while the farmer is asleep. Look on our petitions for a peaceful and loving community through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, Grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering canceled our sins. By his rising from the dead he has opened a way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with a company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. See 
are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Louis Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Crescencia del Pinado, mother of our father, Jerry del Pinado, SVD, our HEI supervising producer, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, the souls in purgatory, the souls of those priests who were murdered. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Eutadeus, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we him in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Let us pray and give thanks to the loving Father in heaven to the prayer Jesus taught us.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all worry and distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of God's love, joy, and peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, our healing Eucharist, who loves us through and through. Happy are those who love Jesus in return. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter <clears throat> under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Heavenly Father, we praise and thank you on this special Father's Day. First and foremost, we declare that you are our loving Father in heaven who created us and gave us life. We praise, thank, worship, adore, and serve you, loving Father, in the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son. On this Father's Day, we lift up to you all fathers for your blessing. But in a special way, we lift up to you all fathers who are sick and suffering and afflicted, especially the fathers who are sick and abandoned, forgotten, neglected by their loved ones. For fathers left to grow old by themselves, for fathers who never hear, Tatay, mahal kita. Tatay, kumusta ka? Tatay, anong gusto mo, Papa? We pray for all fathers who are suffering not only physically, but also emotionally because they are deprived of love from their supposed to be loved ones. We pray for all fathers who are afflicted with senility, dementia, Alzheimer's, who do not recognize anymore their loved ones. Loving Father, come to the aid of such fathers who have most need of your mercy and love. Come to the aid of fathers who are suffering because they are disrespected, unloved, hated, forgotten, and abandoned. Sometimes this kind of pain is more than physical pain because physical pain may be alleviated but emotional hurts, psychological hurts lasts and lasts and lasts. Bless all fathers, especially those who are getting older in years. Assist them, O oh Lord. Show them your kindness and mercy and love. Reward their sacrifice and love for their loved ones when they were still strong, when they were still active. And grant them eternal life when you call them loving Father. Likewise, we lift up to you also all those who are sick and suffering for your healing touch and power now and always in Jesus name Amen. Palakpakan natin muli ang ating Diyos Ama sa lahat. At this point we would like to extend our heartfelt and prayerful condolences to Reverend Father Jerry Del Pinado, SVD, whose mother we prayed for a while ago just passed away. What is the name? We continue to pray for her and for the family, the departed uh, mother of Father Jerry Del Pinado. We keep her in our prayers. Please stand. Let us pray. 
At this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. As we honor our fathers and grandfathers today, we now pray the prayer for Father's Day. God, our eternal Father, creator of heaven and earth, when you had given us your son Jesus to be our redeemer, you chose to entrust him to the care of Saint Joseph to be his earthly father. We ask you to bless the fathers and grandfathers who are gathered here today. Bless them with the strength of your spirit. May they love their wives with faithfulness and trust. May they establish their families with perseverance in work. And may they also be exemplar in Christian virtues. Give them the strength which comes from the gospel so that they may be witnesses of Christ to others. We also remember today the fathers who are working in other countries away with, from their families in order to provide for their daily needs. Keep them always true to your commandments. Keep them faithful in marriage and protect them from any harm. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Pakitaas ang kamay ng mga fathers here and all over. Pati kayong na nakikiisa sa Healing Eucharist all over the world, pakitaas ang kamay. Ayan. Palakpakan natin sila at kayong lahat all over the world. May God's blessing be upon you always. And we also pray for, uh, for all departed fathers. Ano? Yung mga nauna na. May they rest in the peace of the Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. We now pray the prayer of St. Gertrude, prayer for the souls in purgatory. Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, we, we offer, offer you the, the most, most precious body and blood of your, your divine, divine Son, Jesus, Jesus in, in union with, with the masses offered throughout, throughout the world today, today for, for all the holy souls in purgatory, purgatory for, for sinners, sinners everywhere, everywhere for sinners in the universal church, those in our homes and within our families. In Jesus' name, amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for God's blessing. Lord God, from the abundance of your mercies, provide for your servants and ensure their safety so that strengthened by your blessings, they, especially all fathers, May at all times abound in thanksgiving and bless you with an ending exaltation through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come upon you, especially all fathers here and all over the world who join us and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Let us greet first and foremost our loving Father in heaven. Loving Father, happy Father's Day, our eternal and loving Father. Malakas sa palapag. Thanks be to God. All together, thanks be to God. Oh